autism is not a disease so there is no like cure for it it's a developmental difference it is the way these children perceive the world it's the way these children relate to others so the treatment again will differ based on each child because it's a spectrum it can manifest in a variety of ways so the whatever therapy we use the overall treatment goal will be to utilize the child's unique strengths and help them learn some behavioral strategies and coping skills addressing their deficits in social and communication skills and utilize it to help them be a better individual and also to improve their quality of life. When a parent is concerned about autism or if a pediatrician is concerned about autism because the child fails the screening tests, the child is typically referred to a specialist for a comprehensive evaluation. The reason for such an evaluation is first to establish the diagnosis. Not only that, the other reason is also to rule out other factors or other diagnosis which may come along with it or may mimic autism spectrum. So, uh, a typical visit involves getting a detailed history about the child's birth and development and also they try to get um, good behavioral observation in the office how they interact with the parents how they play with the toys so that's a behavioral observation sometimes based on these observations it may be convincing and the autism diagnosis is established sometimes there may be need for further referral and for more testing which may include like a hearing screen a vision screen and a formal psychological testing to assess what is the actual level of functioning of the child and also to analyze what are his strengths and what are his weakness again uh, depending upon what we see in that specific child specific spe specialized testing may be performed like genetic or metabolic testing the human brain is a very complex entity and especially when it comes to pediatrics or the growing brain in a young child there are a lot of dynamic factors and environmental factors which play a role in molding it so the earlier we intervene the more easy it is for help uh, for us to help the brain adapt to these interventions and to help improve their overall performance and that's the reason for early recognition If a parent suspects a child to have any developmental concerns, I highly recommend them to speak to their pediatrician and maybe even consider further evaluation.